and led off over seven furlongs. Popping out smartly, Zorinsk already a length in front of Lord Masseuses, Nepri Thierry racing together, Tarawa and Salt Lake City, improving on the inside power under me, and then Cosmic Vega, Honey Girl next with Real Appeal, and at the rear of the field, Alexander John. Coming up to the five furlong point, and the lead is Zorinsk as they settle themselves from Snepri Tyria, disputing the third Lord Masseuses, Tarawa and Power under me. Gap of two lengths to Salt Lake City and then Cosmic Vega. Real appeal in between Alexander John and Honey Girl at the tail end of the field. Change of leader is Snap Reiteria. Presses ahead, goes on by two and a half lengths to Zarinsk. Moving into third place to, is Tarawa and then Par under me and Lord Masseuse, Salt Lake City, Cosmic Vega and then Real Appeal, Alexander John and Honey Girl. But they're pretty well stacked up. Racing round the home turn, two and a half furlongs to go. Snap Reiteria followed round the bend by Zarinsk. Then Tarawa poised on the outside of Par under me. Then Lord Masseuse with the noseband trying to get out is Cosmic Vega. On the rail is Honey Girl, another the one looking for racing room. Zarinsk has wrestled back the lead. Challenged by Tarawa, trying to go between them as part under me. And then Honey Girl, Cosmic Vega, Lord Masseuse, Salt Lake City tying up rapidly. Snap Reiteria, but it's Zarinsk, the leader from Tarawa. As they run up towards the finish, it's Zarinsk who's going to follow up the Brownstown. And the Romanized minstrel, Honey Girl, came home well on the outside of Tarawa. And then part under me. Sarinsk has gained another success here, Leopardstown doing it in great style as is customary breaking properly out of get properly quickly out of gates, should I say Jarline so now Jar, well done. Yeah, lovely lovely the two of them ran a blinder, but she's been a queen all season. And I must say she we sent her to France and it was a if the, on the team, I was probably the one most negative about the trip, and it turned her inside out. You can see her in the ring there today. She looks like a mare now. She's after mature and lovely, and you'd nearly say she's still improving. We're doing a rain dance Sunday morning when the car was called off. Delighted to be rescheduled and get this race back on this track. It didn't even cross my mind. Um, Colin was adamant the car is not the place for her, mm. so he didn't declare. And I thought I had a good substitute in power. Once the ground is like that, he's going to run his race, as he proved there. He ran out of room. We probably cost him third. But um, then I just think what's meant, as, as I live my life, what's meant for you won't pass you. Mm. And they switched it. And Zarin's head poked up again. I said, well, it's made for her around here. So... Listen, we went to France for a Group 2, so we got lucky and they put a Group 2 on beside us and we're after collecting, so it's fantastic. And their appetite for the game, she just hits the gaze, travels today, she didn't have to leave, got headed, just so uncomplicated, but enthusiastic, great attitude. Yeah, the boys you could see, I don't know whether it was Declan's idea or whether it was, it was his horse's idea, but Chris certainly wasn't going to let her have her own way. They're, they're, they, they copped onto her, they won't give her an easy lead. Mm. But it just shows that now, you know, she's maturing, so we can ride a race on her, which is great, and we've got the best man in the business to do that, you know. So leaves us a lovely option now for the matron, which is mm. Champions Weekend is huge, and like power can go for the, the boomerang and ground being, ground being right at that time of the year. I mean, because this rain doesn't look like it's going to stop, and Zarinsk can go for the matron, which is shot at, mm. you know, we have a free shot at it now, so it's fantastic. Indeed it is, and uh, will we see her between now and then? Listen, um, we'll talk to the to the family as we did the owners. The owners, we always, Barry will discuss it with the family and I'll do what I'm told. But the ultimate aim would obviously be go for, for the Champions uh, weekend, I would say. And if everybody agrees with that, I would say that's the obvious target. And beyond that, Jared, the first thing I thought when I seen a race today, left-handed way she breaks out of gates. Would any Murray could be a possibility later in the year into the autumn post Irish Champs weekend. Well, I did say it to Barry. I said, when we're just finding our, ourselves that tad short on this side of the, we can win a great one over there. So it is, it's up there. I mean, it's up there for discussion. But as I said, Barry will talk to the owners and they'll come up with a plan. But she, I would say she's made for that. But the only thing is, I like her with juice in the ground and I, I, I couldn't see her hand in fast American ground. Uh, later on today, of course, Scott Walton made a very good impression winning on debut. Yeah, there's no races for these horses. Like, mm. and lucky enough, the ground is as it is. And if the ground wasn't as it is, I couldn't run him. And the only option I'd have them is the Bally Rowan. I mean, I don't think he's missed him. Mm. I don't know what he beat, but he hasn't missed him. And I don't having know, a, having a, confusing me with Henry or somebody. I don't know who he's confusing me with, but he hasn't missed this horse. So I hope he's right. And uh, having a race to progress into group company is very important. At least you get that here today. Yeah, he needs it. The horse is still, I would say, he's 80% cooked. He's a very green horse. Do you know what I mean? He's conceding weight all around. I mean, to me, he was just a horse that could win his maiden. He's won his maiden. I and mean, now he's, he's rated him as a stakes horse. And 
to me is to prove it. Give me a chance to, to do it. But there's no programme for him. Like, straight, if the race wasn't on tonight, he has to go straight into a bally rowing. Do you know, I mean, if you have an ordinary horse in this country and run him every day of the week, if you have a nice horse, you can't run him anywhere. But uh, it's frustrating. Um, he has to improve for me to, to win tonight and to concede all the conditions. I just hope the handicapper's right. hope so too. He's looked a nice prospect then, but Sarinsky, a great prospect. Well done again. Yeah, we'll finish on a good note. Good old Sarinsky. <laughs> <laughs> As always. <laughs> Subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel now to watch more great races like this.